can, can you go over how the create file a trick works again? Oh, yeah, it's so, excuse me, create file. Um, you can, this is actually what's called in order to open a file. As well, it doesn't, doesn't just create. So when create file is called, one of the things that's passed in is the desired access and the share mode. I forget which one says that nobody else can access it. I think it's the share mode. Should be read. The access request uh, not affected. If all succeeds. Well, let me double check the wiki. So the, yeah, the anti-dump. Uh, the DW share mode is what is used to say, um, oh, hey, what meaning? Prevents other processes from opening a file. There you go. So what Ollie dump needs to do in order to dump is it needs to read the original file to get the PE header. And so that's why it errored out with a, I can't access the original file. And that's what was was preventing us. And when I see I can't access the original file, that says to me, well, maybe the the hacker or rather the unpacker was uh, had had called create file with that share mode set to zero. So I'm just brainstorming here. If I was using the immunity debug, um, would I potentially write some you know some scripts so that I would start developing a list of things that I want to I want to trap, right? And intercept or calls like anytime I see call this function, say you know what? No, I'm going to reset your flag. You're not going to prevent me from reading the file. Just this is over time. You know what I'm saying? So that you mean stuff, that stuff you mean so that, slow you down so that you would always make a change to create file, or you would always break on create file? Well, you could, uh, whatever works for you. I'm, I'm simply saying, you know, send it a different argument so it doesn't actually, uh, I didn't actually have exclusive read over the file. In essence, disallow global write box. What do you say? Disallow global write box. This is, this is something you can script up, right? Sure, but in order for it to be checking for that, you would either need to insert your own code, basically do some, do a uh, API booking yep. of your own, mm -hmm. um, which malware could check for that, okay. or malware could um, basically overwrite that and get by that. Um, it's, one, it's one of those things where if a technique that you've seen before is being used and you have a, a way of, of automating that, then you have a way of automating that. But if um, if they're using some way of like checking for a, a breakpoint, like we haven't run into anything that checks and clears for hardware breakpoints, but there is stuff out there that does that. Which is why I'm always I'm double checking hardware breakpoint, okay, that is still set. It wasn't unset. So so knowing to to do these things you still want to do just in case the malware, which you haven't fully analyzed, because it takes time to go through every single line of assembly, uh, is doing one of those things. Okay. But but yeah, this, so some of this stuff absolutely um, absolutely scriptable. Um, you just want to be aware of the limitations of that. That's all. Okay.